Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Matt channel and we will begin with the entertainment news. New Sanchi trailer features some huge MCU crossover. Loki confirms its darkest fan theory in episode 3 reveal. Here's when Black Widow will be coming to Disney Plus at no extra charge. Michael Jackson fan honor icon on 12th anniversary of his death. New Sanchi trailer features some huge MCU crossover. A new trailer of Sanchi and the Legend of the Ten Ring is here and it features some huge MCU crossover. While the movie first teaser was a pretty even mix of action and humor, this new trailer is a lot darker in tone and sees Sanchi grappling with his past and his destiny and as well as showing us more of new characters like Sang-Chi and Mandarin, we also get a glimpse at some familiar faces. At one point, it looks like Wong, played by Benedict Wong, the sidekick of Benedict Cumberbatch, Doctor Strange, also make an appearance. He is appeared to be fighting Abomination, who first appeared in The Incredible Hulk, played by Tim Roth. The character, the villain of the 2008 movie, is also set to appear in the upcoming Disney Plus series She-Hulk, so this won't be the last we see of him either. Sang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Ring is directed by Destin Daniel Creton, who previously held movies like Short Term 12 and Just Mercy. Simu Liu plays the titular character and the cast also includes Aqua Fina, Tony Leung, and Michael Leo. The movie is a big move for Asian representation in MCU, something that the cast member feel passionately about. From the moment that Marvel Studio decided that there needed to be a voice for Asian characters and a lead Asian characters in the space of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they have all kind of considered what the best way was to incorporate a story that both celebrates Asianness and all of its wonderful dimension and its facet and its nonsense and also celebrates martial arts, Liu recently told NBC. Before we get to see Sang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, we have Black Widow which is released simultaneously in theaters and on Disney Plus on July 9. Natasha Romanoff's solo big screen outing is a prequel that sees her take on life as a fugitive and reconnect with figures from her past as KGB agent. After that, Sang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Ring is set to arrive in theaters on September 3rd. Loki confirms its darkest fan theory in episode 3 reveal. Call it a Loki fan theory that has been doing the rounds on social media has been confirmed in the latest episode of the Marvel Disney Plus series. While fan theories can range from the realistic but ultimately fruitless Mephisto, anyone? To the absurd, a recent suggestion that TVA agents are all mind wipe variants who stray too far from the sacred timeline has proven correct. That is, according to Lady Loki, aka Sylvine. Can we trust the goddess of mischief? Maybe, maybe not. Still, her words chime with what many have suspected. They are all variants, just like us, Sylvie explains. That true line that's already been pointed out on two separate occasions, curiously, one fan theory hints at this being proof that the TVA's purpose, the timekeepers, and the sacred timeline are all covers for something much more sinister. A second theory focuses on Mobius being a man out of time. His love of jet skis, after all, feels at odds 
with the orderly large halfway of the TVA. That also back up by the Sylvie's interactions with Hunter C-20. At the beginning of the episode, the two are sharing margaritas while Sylvie pokes around her in memories so she can find the location of the timekeepers. The backdrop should be familiar to anyone who's been on all-inclusive holiday. This is Earth. The hunter once had a real life and a purpose. Sylvie even equips that she had to go back hundreds of years prior to rifle through the required memories. With the series halfway complete, it appears that TVA Ben 8 has been ripped off and what can a last minute Agatha star reveal? The remaining half will likely focus on what hiding behind the curtain and who's really pulling the string across the time and space. First thing first, find a way off of Elementis. The pair of Lokis are trapped on the Doom planet at the tail end of the 21st century without an exit strategy in sight. Uh, maybe then the doer can uncover a truth that we are desperately seeking. Here's when Black Widow will be coming to Disney Plus at no extra charge. Black Widow will be available to stream on Disney Plus for no extra charges less than three months after its theatrical release as supported by one Reddit user. The Marvel movie is releasing simultaneously in theaters and on Disney Plus Premier Access aka at additional cost on July 9. But subscribers will be able to watch the Scarlett Johnson's lead movie for no extra charge from October 6. It is slightly longer wait than other movies that have had the same release plan. The animated Raya and the Last Dragon, for example, was available to stream for free less than two months after the Premiere Access release. Disney adopted the Premiere Access release strategy during the pandemic when theatres were closed around the world. Other movies released this way were the live-action remake of Mulan and the Emma Stone lead origin story Cruella. Black Widow is the first Marvel Phase 4 movie, although Disney Plus TV shows like WandaVision and Loki have kicked off proceedings on a small screen, set after the events of the Captain America Civil War. The movie will see Scarlett Johansson's take one final turn as Natasha Romanoff aka Black Widow. The character met a fateful end in Avengers Endgame, so this is likely to be the last time we see her on the big screen. Natasha's solo movie was certainly been a long time coming, with fans keen to see her take center stage for more than a decade now. Black Widow will see her taking on life as a fugitive and reconnecting with the figures from her past as KGB agent. Directed by Kate Shortland, the movie also star Florence Pug, Rachel Wise, David Harbour and O.T. Fack Bendel. We may be seeing more MCU prequels in the future too. Marvel Studio boss Kevin Feige recently said that the notion of exploring the past, present and the future of the MCU is certainly in the cards of all of our characters. He also hinted that the movie was very personal, very specific to Natasha. Michael Jackson fan honor icon on 12th anniversary of his death. It's hard to believe that it's been 12 years since Michael Jackson passed away. On Friday, June 25, fans paid tribute to the King of Pops on social media where hashtag Michael Jackson become a 
trending topic in numerous countries. According to social media posts, some fans even visited the outside of Jackson boyhood from home in Gary, Indiana. People left notes, flowers, and memorabilia. Fans also used social media to convey their memories, admiration, along with thoughts and prayers for the music icon and his family. Michael Jackson, thank you so much. Thank you for gifting the world with your talent, with your grace, and with your magic. Thank you for making this world a better place through your music, one fan tweeted. Other fans shared fan art, special video edits, and their favorite concert memories of Jackson. Jonathan Moffat, Jackson drummer over 30 years, also took to Twitter to honor his late friend. I still remember the very last time you told me you love me. 12 years ago, around this time on June 25, 2009. Missing you and love you always. Jackson passed away on June 25, 2009 at his Los Angeles home where he was found with a weak pulse and not breathing. He was transported to USCLA Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. He was 50. It was later determined that his cause of death was on an overdose of propofol, a drug that was used to combat his insomnia. His personal doctor was later charged with involuntary manslaughter. Okay, that's all for the news. Thank you for everyone for watching this video and also uh, please subscribe and like and also hit the notification button and we will see you in the next update video thanks and goodbye